So guys, you know what's really awesome about this game is like, seriously, the fact how you can get stuck on something so hard and all you really have to do sometimes is just kind of leave for a little bit, take a break, maybe think about it, and then come back. And the solution just kind of smacks you in the face. Now, I haven't actually solved this one yet, but I was like, I was actually on the elliptical and I was just thinking about, you know, I was at the gym and I was thinking like, man, the witness is really cool, but it's kicking my ass and I don't know how to solve that last puzzle. I just kind of ended up like, uh, I wouldn't say I rage quit the last video, but I just kind of got disgusted and I was just like, Ugh, I just stopped. Uh, but I realized... You can't see this design from the other side, but you should be able to see it just fine from this side. So I came over and looked at it, and it actually appears quite simple. You start at the top, and you zig down. It's going to be pretty much the opposite of this. So we're going to start at the top and zig down to the right, and then just keep zigging down the rest of the way. And I think this should pretty much be the solution. Actually... It is kind of hard to tell which plane you're going to, uh, or like which intersection you're going to turn on. It's basically going to form a big arrow pointing to the left, though. So, if we do, if we start here, go down, like that, I think this should be it. Yes! Oh, that's so satisfying! It's so satisfying when you figure that out! God, I rule. All right, so now we can come in here. And we are <laughs> right back where we started. I don't know what this really did for me. We are we are on the other side of this gate. I mean, I could just walk back to the other side if I wanted to. So, actually, we haven't made a whole hell of a lot of progress. But even a little bit of progress is good progress. Actually, you know something? I kinda wanna check. Where are we at puzzle-wise? So we're got, we've got 104 panels solved plus three? What the fuck does the plus three mean? That's the first time I've noticed that. Um, hmm. Well, I... We only have two rays shooting at the mountain so far, right? And we've only found two of the solutions that let us play the movies down in the windmill. So I don't think either of those are right. Unless I found a third one and forgot about it. <laughs> which is possible. So I'm not sure. Oh boy. Alright, well, we'll worry about that later. Right now, I have to figure out why I care about being here. I mean, it's part of this area, so... The solution is probably going to be something similar to how we just solved these. Hold on, let me see if I can trace that line. It's, uh... Okay, it splits off. One of them opened this door. I think, I think it ended here. Let's follow the other one. It goes up, inside... Is this it? Okay. Yeah, so I think it must have opened this for our perusal. Okay, there's there's actually a handful of these panels. I'm guessing it's going to be a sequence here. Um, We need to find something that overlays with this and shows us the solution. We need to find it from a unique perspective. If it opened this door, it might happen from in here, although that's pretty damn far away. I'm not confident that's gonna work. There's a lot of shit in the way. Wonder what... We need to figure out why it specifically opened this door and let us in here. It must be a matter of some perspective. What about if we look up top? I wish I could zoom in up there. There's like some lattice work on the roof. 
Hmm. There are squares right here. They don't look like they particularly correspond to anything. There's nothing unique about them. And again, this gate appears to be worthless because I know I can get to the other side if I just, you know, take the long way around. So I don't think I care about opening that. Let's walk the perimeter one more time. See if anything catches our eye. The solutions always seem to be... like, inherent in the environment. Can't see through that. There are stepping stones on this pond. Well, we can't see it through these holes, though. Hmm. The problem right now is I'm just not finding anything that would actually... Let me see this board from another perspective. Like, outside of the immediate zone. What happens if I just... Just do something. Maybe it'll give me some kind of feedback that'll be helpful. <laughs> Forget that idea. This tree... This tree branch right here? Doesn't look very symmetrical, but I could just have the wrong angle. Look, hold on. These branches right here look like they might correspond to something. Pretty hard to get them lined up in a way that makes sense, though. The leaves? Oh. Oh. Okay, let's try this. Wait. Ah, fuck you. The leave is blocking my progress. We gotta get it lined up better. I feel pretty good about this, guys. <laughs> I love this area. Okay, I figured out the trick. It's just going to be a matter of employing it. Alright, where's the starting zone? Got it. So I need to make sure that is free and clear. Oh, man. This one doesn't uh, doesn't seem to line up quite as well. If I try and come in from the side, that doesn't really give me a good enough angle. I think I have to stand in front of it. Maybe if I move up closer. I mean, I think my, my biggest problem is this line right here pretty much blocks the whole board. I can't really tell what it's trying to show me. Holy fuck, guys. I do not even want to admit to you how long that took me to get. <laughs> oh, jeez. That was... Okay, that was hard. You know what did it? Was this little, like, curvature right here on this guy? 
As soon as I realized that that kind of just wrapped really nicely around the starting point, that's when everything else fell into place. But Jesus, good lord, that took me so long to get. Alright, next one, I guess. <laughs> I was running around trying to find, like, a different thing to use. I was trying to use this guy. I went out there and looked through those again. I was, like, trying to, like, come up here and get up all close. And then, like, get really far back. And you have to be just the right distance away. And, oh. Ugh. Oh, ugh. Oh, this is... This is really cool. Like, it's extremely cool, but it's also, like, kind of rough. So I'm going to follow the same philosophy with this one. I'm going to, like, hook that around the starting point that already doesn't work this is this is gonna be a pain in the balls too isn't it we probably want to come out this way actually if we hook that around no most of these are like completely blocking off all the pathways oh boy I'm gonna have a lot of cutting to do <laughs> Guys, keep in mind that, like, uh, the length of these videos are not at all representative of how much time I spent in this game just trying to figure things out. I, I cut out most of the wankery because I know that most most of you don't want to sit there and watch me, just, you know, dick around on a puzzle board for 30 minutes. So, yeah. This is a... Man, this one's... This one's kind of brutal. Let's come over here... No, that's not going to work either, because these branches are too thick on the left. I'm also working off the assumption that this is even the solution to this one. Just because it was on this side doesn't necessarily mean it is on this side. There's a real, like, visual acuity to this. What if... But, like, you just... You, you don't really notice it until it snaps into place in just the right way. Hmm. I think maybe a good trick is to use the starting and ending zones and try and, like, make things conform to those. It's not a perfect solution, but it's, <laughs> it's the only thing I have to work with right now. This might be more of a direct on approach, actually. Yes. Yes, this looks promising. Hold on. We want to be closer or a little farther away. Let's try this. Luckily, this puzzle isn't one of those ones that makes you redo the whole damn thing if you screw up. Which I really appreciate. Oh shit, I didn't even notice. That blended in so well. That twig there kind of blocks your uh, upwards progression there. Is there is there a hole there in between those? There is. So if I... If I line it up just right, I might still be able to sneak through. It's going to be rough though. I love how, like, the the tree branches actually obscure your path, though. Like, when you're trying to draw the line in. That's such a cool mechanic. And that must have been, like, a nightmare to program, by the way. I have, like, the utmost respect in the world for programmers and developers. Uh, same shit. It's just that one little spoke right there. Mm. Fucks me up. Otherwise, this looks like a perfect solution. What if I try to... If I try to line it up so that it's right on the intersection, that doesn't work. If you zoom in a little bit... Uh, no. If I just go just a little cockeyed. Just, just a little... Just a little cockeyed. Still not going to let me through, I bet. Uh. What 
if I just do it without that, just ignore that, but follow the same kind of path it was presenting me. Nope, it's not even the right solution anyway. Because I don't think you have to do it through these branches. They, they're just a, a guidepost for you. And... Oh wait, that, that wouldn't even be the right solution anyway. Let's, uh... Let's, let's do it this way. We go up and then over. Fuck you, tree branch, for blocking me. Nope, still not it. Alright, this is... I can tell that I'm close here. Like, I'm, I'm on to something. Just need to do better somehow. Ha ha ha! Okay, so <laughs> this one flips the script a little bit, guys. Uh, this didn't take me this long to figure out, but instead of actually blocking the parts of the path that you don't want, this actually forms the path for you. And I realized that, again, by noticing how this part here is very much the exact, almost the exact same size circle as the starting point. So I just match that up, and then you can actually trace the path that the twigs make uh, once, I, once you realize that they were kind of forming a barrier, and it was kind of impossible to get through there, it, that's when it kind of fell into place. So this one might be the same, or it might be different. Who can say? Uh, doesn't look like this actually has a part that matches up with the starting point, at least not from what I can see. So it could go either way. Um, hmm. We're starting in the top right, going to the bottom left. And all this shit better unlock something cool. <laughs> Man, this doesn't really seem to line up either way. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, you guys ready for this one? So, this kind of lines up right here if you look at it, but it also kind of doesn't. So, I wasn't too sure what to do with this alignment right here. This one works out a lot better, but as you can see, it's incomplete. So, I sat here just scratching my head for a good long while, getting frustrated, looking around, trying to figure out what the fuck to do. Oh, look. Look at this. There's a piece of tree on the floor. A fucking twig that snapped off of this branch. And I was like, that can't possibly be it. That's way too obscure and ridiculous. But, lo and behold, if you imagine that piece, you line these up just like that, and then you imagine that piece filling in right here, it lines up and forms a path to the end. Fucking ridiculous. This place is ridiculous, but I feel so good for having figured that out. I'm, I'm like, I'm like caught in the middle of like feeling amazing and also feeling completely exhausted. And I have no idea how long this video is. It's probably only like 15 minutes for you guys because I'm cutting out all the wankery. But oh my god, I've been in this place for like two fucking hours. I'm just ready to, to just go lay down and drink some hot chocolate or something. Monastery. Oh shit. I got a trophy. That means there's a laser, right? I don't know where the hell it is, though. <laughs> oh, it's coming up. Yay. Laser time. Anytime now. 
<laughs> They're old. It's old technology, guys. It's like lasers from the 50s or something. They had lasers back then, right? This thing's gonna go straight through the trees. Wow, it really does. Right through the tree, and now we've got three of them focused. Woof. I have no idea how many of those lasers we need. But, that actually, uh... Okay, so don't get me wrong, this was a ton of work, a ton of mental, exhausting work. But it wasn't actually a huge number of puzzles, I'm kind of surprised that we got a laser just for that. And I still haven't even figured, maybe there is no way to open this. It's probably just a shortcut. Hold on, so, what does it say now for puzzles solved? We went to 108, and it's still plus 3. So the lasers... I mean, it said, it said plus 3 before, so the, it's definitely not counting the lasers for that. Hmm. The plot thickens. The plot thickens, guys. Hey, wait a second. You guys see that right there? That row of puzzles on that little red brick building that looks like a tutorial puzzle okay i my brain is completely just like completely demolished but I, I i really want to get over there and check that out before i before i cut out here because i've been looking for something like that for quite a while and i need it should i go this way i should probably go I should probably go out the uh shortcut that i opened or i could just go up this way I don't know if I can actually get up into that building. It's like right here. Stairs, please. Stairs somewhere. Elevator. Anything. Maybe not an elevator, because elevators... Uh, are bad in this game. I had a really bad experience with an elevator. <laughs> but, but at this point, I'll take anything. I can't get up there. Damn it. Well, I have to be able to somehow. Where does this line go? Goes up to this. I'm gonna call this the lighthouse. I don't know if it actually is a lighthouse, but it kind of reminds me of one. And this has a door here. So I'm guessing we get through this door. We go up into the lighthouse, solving puzzles all the merry way. Once we get to the top, we activate something that extends a bridge or a stairwell to this guy. I don't fucking know. Let's follow this. This goes into this building. Which is locked with this. Which is a thing. Do I know how to solve this? I don't even know. It kind of looks like your standard separation puzzle, but I've never seen these little, like, snowflake type things. I don't even know if I could separate all this stuff on a board this size. That's a lot of colors. Yeah. Although this could be a call out to the color filter puzzles with all those different colorings right there. What the fuck is this? I really want to figure these out too. These pu these puzzles with the Tetris pieces, it seems like they just want you to, to draw the shape of the block on your way to the solution, but it, it, it didn't work for me when I tried it. And this one has five of them. <laughs> and I still don't know what the... Uh, I'm going to call these snowflakes, what these little symbols mean. They're obviously different from like a regular dot. But damned if I know how. Because I can't find tutorial puzzles. I had kind of assumed that this area was going to be like... Like, kind of like a beginner's area, where you, you get a lot of experience 
but it seems like you actually need to know things before you can even get started here. And I don't know where to learn those things. This guy here. How did I do this? What about like that? That encompasses it. Ugh, go to hell. <laughs> it's skewed a little bit to the left. I wonder if that's significant. I don't know why it would be. Maybe you have to draw it. Maybe it starts here. So you do that. And then go up. You do it right in the middle. That's ugly as hell. Uh. Yep, I got nothing. <laughs> Guys, when we come back, I guess we're just going to keep running around like assholes trying to figure out anything. Just try and find a puzzle we can complete, make some more progress, and hopefully learn something. Because right now, I'm at a bit of a loss. We could also go back up into the jungle area and keep looking around. There was like a bamboo maze. I'm pretty sure I didn't get everything I could have out of that. So, yeah, I don't know. It's going to be a surprise. I, uh, I gotta go do what I said. Lay down, drink some hot chocolate. I feel like I just got attacked by a Dementor. So, I think that's probably the best thing for me right now. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I appreciate the support on this series, and I love you guys. It really does mean a lot to me, so thank you. And I will catch you guys in the next video. See you guys.